over the past few years, I've just grown to realize why it is so important to build your own family as a trans person. What's up guys and welcome back to another video. The holidays are here. Thanksgiving was a few days ago and Christmas is approaching. I wanted to take this time to talk about the holidays and why it's really important to build your own family as a trans person, especially around the holidays. This past Thanksgiving kind of reminded me why it's really important to have your own built family. Before I hop into it, if you don't know me, my name is Kyle, aka Prince Kyle, don't forget it. And I have an Instagram as well as a TikTok where I share my trans experience as well as give the perspective of others. Before we dive into this conversation, with Christmas coming up, I did wanna share with you guys something small, something simple that you could get your family or friends for the holidays. And it's something that you can enjoy with each other. We got a package, we got a package. We got a package, hey, 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 hey. With the holidays coming up, you already know, about to have packages on packages on packages, whether it's me getting a package for a gift that I gotta give to somebody, or whether it's a package for me. I just received this package in the mail, and it is from a company called a and a Chess. If any of you guys are kinda nerdy like me and like things simple, I love playing checkers. I'm not too good at chess, but I am definitely eager to learn how to play so I can enjoy it with my son and teach him. So let's open this and see what we got inside. Boom. We got ourselves a pretty fancy looking chess set. So this company has sold over 60,000 chess sets on Amazon, making it one of the leading sellers on the platform. Now this is 15 inches, 38 centimeter veneer and inlay and wooden pieces. So like I was saying, I don't really know how to play chess, but you don't want to compete against me and checkers. This is a complete wooden set that comes with all the pieces you'll need. The pieces are made out of wood and you have a light wash wood and then a chestnut colored wood for the other pieces. Now the board comes folded in half and closes up nicely like a case and all of the pieces that you'll need are inside. Inside you'll get their little business card with the website. It comes with a postcard as well and the directions are inside in case you don't know how to play. I'm definitely going to need these so I can play some chess. And then not only does it give you everything you will need, but it comes with these cool stickers that I'm definitely gonna use. Now when it comes to chess, I don't know nothing about it, but I'm about to learn today. So if you're struggling to know what to get your friend, your partner, or any family member for Christmas, definitely check out this chess set on Amazon. And not only can you have fun on Christmas, but you can have fun all year round. Checkers and chess have been around for so long, I don't think there will be a day where people stop playing it. Like, it's just always, it's always gonna be there. All right, now let's hop into the video. So, over the past few years, I've just grown to realize why it is so important to build your own family as a trans person. And this isn't to say to get rid of your blood family, unless your situation is that bad to where you need to then by all means, use your discretion and take this information as you see fit. Yeah, over the years, I've just realized how important it is. And this past Thanksgiving, I've just been really grateful for the situation I'm in right now. As a kid, I had pretty good Thanksgivings, pretty good Christmas, all the holidays, they were pretty good. And I'm not here to bash anyone in my family, but I just realized that I'm most comfortable with people that I choose to be around. Um, again, as a child, my holidays were good. They weren't great, but they were good. And the reason I say that is because I couldn't be my authentic self. As a kid, obviously I was not out as transgender, so I had to deal with what I had to deal with because nobody knew who I truly was. But then when I grew up and became an adult, 
I obviously came out as being transgender and holidays got kind of awkward. They were never really the same for me and they felt very forced. Now, I've talked about my family and how they view my transition and overall my family is amazing. Like they are as good as I could wish for. My family is very accepting in the fact that they allow me to be who I want to be as long as I'm happy and healthy. But they still to this point don't really understand it and don't really care to educate themselves to do better. Take that as you will. Um, So I don't look badly on them at all and I love them unconditionally. But I'm also in the place of adulthood to where I can pick out who I want to surround myself with. And so now that I have my own family, I have my girlfriend and our son Hunter, um, I'm able to be who I want to be and who I've always been without feeling like I have to force myself to deal with things I shouldn't have to and without feeling like I need to force my family to do something they don't want to. So as an adult and with the family I've created, nothing's forced anymore. Everything is super authentic. Everything is exactly as it should be. I feel like I can really be myself and I feel like I'm taken serious as myself. When it comes to blood family, it's very hard to really get them on the same page that you're on. And so in the beginning stages of my transition, before I had the family I have now, my girlfriend and our son, before I had them, I was having Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, all the holidays with my blood family because that that's my family, right? So I would have to deal with a lot of things that I shouldn't have to deal with. And when holidays come up, you guys know how it goes. You end up seeing family members that you really only see once or twice a year. So these people are your family, but they don't see you all the time. So they don't see how far you've come. And so when I was around family members, it would be family that I haven't seen in years. And now they see me as this guy when prior, a couple years back, they knew me as this girl. And it can be really awkward because you finally have gotten in a place where you were able to express who you were to your immediate family, like your mother, your father, your siblings. And now you're meeting family that you haven't seen in years. And now you're having to re-come out and re-explain yourself Or it's just so awkward you don't want to, so you allow them to continue misgendering you, calling you by your dead name, and doing all these things because it's just too awkward. So I've noticed that holidays, they just get really, really awkward when it comes to your blood family. And it just makes me appreciate the family I've built as an adult that much more because nothing is forced on either party. And the family you find they're all on the same page as you. You're literally seeking out people who are gonna love you as you are, and you're seeking out people who only know you as your true self. So I really strongly advise if you are able to, really look for family. And again, this is not me telling you to delete your your blood family. I'm not saying that at all. And if you have blood family who really does see you as you are, then Keep doing what you're doing, stay with these people, and don't trade them for anything. But what I'm really doing is trying to tell those who don't have that that secure family who makes them feel 100% themselves and who makes the holidays really hard. I'm telling those people, like, there's so many people in this world that are going to accept you and, and, and see you as your true self. So if you can find that family, It doesn't have to be a relationship like um, a significant other because I know some people may say, well, it's it's hard. The dating world is really hard and I feel like people aren't going to love me for me and being trans is hard when it comes to dating. I don't even have to mean dating. Like you can find your family through coworkers. You can find your family through book clubs, through paint and sips. Like you can find family pretty much anywhere. When I say family, I don't mean blood. I don't mean significant other. I mean just people who are going to love you for you. And when you can find that, you will realize that the holidays don't have to be so shitty. 
because for the trans community, the holidays, unfortunately, they end up being really, really crappy. Um, And I'm here to tell you, it doesn't have to be that way. My holidays have been amazing these past few years. And again, I'm not trying to say that my holidays as a kid were horrible. I didn't have a shitty childhood. I'm not saying that at all. But I do know there are trans people who do. And I want you to realize that it does not have to be that way. You can have an amazing holiday playing chess and checkers with your best friend. You can have an amazing holiday playing chess and checkers with your coworker and having an amazing Christmas dinner, being gendered properly, being called the name you want to be called without having to awkwardly come out on a day that's supposed to just be about happiness and love and not about talking about what's between your legs. Like, that's what it's all about. So, again, this past Thanksgiving a few days ago, it just really opened my eyes and made me realize how important it is to build your own family as a trans person. It can be beautiful. My Thanksgiving was beautiful. And I also hope some of you guys are already at this point where you got to experience the same thing I did, where you didn't have to out yourself, where you didn't have to constantly hear people misgendering you and not understanding you. I hope some of you guys got to experience that. And if you didn't, I hope this video helps you to realize that you can have that and that this Christmas can bring you that. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Smash the like button. Help the algorithm push this to as many trans people as it possibly can. Help it push it to as many family members as it can. So so that if there are family members who are misgendering their children, who are misgendering their cousins, their uncles, their aunts, anyone, to kind of get the hint that that's not okay and that you are literally ruining people's holiday experiences, Um, Yeah, push this out to as many people as you can. And um, as always, I love you. I hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving. And I hope you guys enjoy the upcoming holiday of Christmas if you celebrate or any other holidays out there that you may celebrate. Much love. Peace.